Hi, Kyle. Oh, hi, Esther. What can I do for you this time? Well, I'm trying to learn more about HP Inkjet technology. You've come to the right place. This is the HP Inkjet Technology Lab. What would you like to know? Well, let's start with the basics. Why the printhead is so important? Well, the printhead is a bit like the motor in your car. Uh huh. It's the engine of the printer. And everything about the printer, the quality, the reliability, and even the speed is controlled by the, is determined by the printhead. Mm -hmm. HP is using thermal inkjet printheads. What does this mean? Well, Esther, there's really two types of printheads. Uh -huh. There are piezo printheads that use a mechanical form of motion to eject a drop, and mm -hmm. then there are thermal printheads that use an electrical pulse, it forms a small vapor bubble, and ejects an ink drop. And which one is better then? Well, that depends. Piezo uses mechanical motion, and so it can jet a wider variety of liquids. For example, mm -hmm. some liquids that are thicker. Thermal ink jet, on the other hand, uses a electrical pulse that forms a vapor bubble. And this works better with uh, water-based inks, for example. But is there really the big difference between these two technologies is the resolution. As you can see here, we're looking at a HP thermal ink jet printhead. Uh -huh. And this has 1,200 nozzles per inch. Well, Piezo, on the other hand, typically has between 100 to 300 nozzles per inch. I've listened sometimes that some of the vendors, they claim they have 1,400 DPIs. Yeah. You mentioned 300 right now. This can be a little misleading. Okay. For a piezo printhead, which only has 100 or 300 nozzles per inch, to achieve the resolution you just mentioned, mm -hmm. they need to print many passes. Oh, this can okay. slow down the printer and affect overall throughput. Why having more nozzles is better then? It's a bit like the injectors in your car. Having more injectors makes your car go faster. Okay. Having more nozzles means we can put more ink down in a single pass and we can also achieve higher quality. And why is that? If the printhead is damaged or has, in this case, a, a hair covering it or something, we have automatic nozzle detection in our printers. We can detect the nozzles that may have uh, an, an error or a problem and we can correct them and substitute other nozzles in their place. So having many nozzles helps us achieve high quality. Let me explain with a few simple examples. Imagine this is a grid mm -hmm. of 150 dpi that a piezo printhead can print. Okay. All right. Now to be able to print on that grid, a piezo printhead needs to have one drop that can fill each, each pixel. Uh -huh. All right. But this yields low resolution and can lead to low image quality. Mm -hmm. So what a piezo printhead is able to do is to create drops of different sizes. This is where the dynamic drop size or grayscale printing or dynamic drop rate, it has many names, uh, comes in. And this okay. helps piezo to improve their image quality. Okay. Let me show you how that works. In a real image, we would have something like this, where each pixel would be filled either completely with one drop or partially with a smaller drop or a, a very light color would be a small drop. Mm -hmm. This improves the overall image quality of piezo. Okay. So a thermal inkjet printhead, in this case, can achieve 1,200 drop sprints. This looks something oh. like this. Okay, so we are putting, placing much more drops per inch. Correct, we have up to 64 drops in the same space as one piezo drop and we can do it in a single pass. Oh, I see that. So this gives us the opportunity to uh -huh. achieve different levels of color by putting different amounts of ink drops. Mm -hmm. As you can see, light colors to dark colors. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing is we can do it in a single pass. Thanks a lot, Kyle. You're welcome.